You're about to meet an inventor who knows a thing or two about making your home into a fortress. And this might sound a bit extreme, but there really are all kinds of security devices to protect your home, protect your family. You've got burglar alarms, surveillance cameras. That's all true, but this inventor's idea of surveillance goes way beyond that. We've got an intruder. When it comes to protecting your home, there he is. You see him behind the tree over there? Nobody's more in the spotlight than John Adrian. I believe it's always better to be prepared than not prepared. And boy, is he preparing. 24 cameras around the property. There's a day-night camera, and then there's a forward-looking infrared camera, ground surveillance radar. Tonight, he's putting an entire new network of home security devices to a crucial test. Can they all communicate together? That's all connected into the network dial server. We're interfacing technologies that haven't been interfaced before, and so you don't know what you're up against until you get in and start doing it. It seems like a great security system. I guess we'll find out. John's got a lot of devices, but nothing like the first line of defense he's setting up tonight. First, if you're going to stop intruders, you need to recognize if you have intruders. It all starts with the Spotter RF, cutting-edge new compact-sized radar. It can see through fog, rain, snow, and the dark of night. It's almost like a stationary drone that's on the property that has a lot of different technologies that are interfaced to the Spotter RF. It triggers cameras to watch the intruders. John built a special raised platform to house even more cameras and the spotlight to follow the targets. The tower platform we constructed out of steel. It weighs about 2,000 pounds. The uh, telescopic mast allows you to get a lot higher in the air and above trees and above the line of sight of the house. Tonight's test will be a complex challenge for John's system. Let's just say we have 10 different systems or, or even 20 systems here and there's 10 or 15 variables in each system. When you try to combine them all together, there's just a lot of unforeseen hurdles. To test it out, John's called in ex-military security specialists to try to infiltrate his technological fortress. The goal? See how long it takes his system to detect them. The uh, cameras that are on the top of the mast, they track based on information that they're getting from the spotter RF system. So it gives exact geographic locations to where the targets are. And then the, the cameras and the spotlight then can key directly on the targets. We have an intruder right now, 105 meters from the house. Intruder. Yeah, the system's following them. So it tells me right here that I've got an intruder just with the information on the heading and how fast and from what direction. You can see we have uh, two subjects. We have one that's lower, crawling, and then we have someone behind them right there. They've triggered the cameras and the spotlight. That's just fantastic, you know? It's fantastic. It went perfect. It, he didn't even get uh, fourth away on the property. immediately picked them up. I don't know of anywhere else in the world where all these technologies have been combined in one very effective system. It's pretty elaborate for home security, but John is dead set on keeping trouble out of his home where even more drastic measures would be waiting. You don't want to get in any conflict. In a conflict, there's really two losers. One just loses more than the other. 